Today we're discussing optimal longevity dosages of the popular health supplement Berberine. The sales of Berberine have skyrocketed in recent years, so with so many of us now using it, we'd best make sufficient effort to ensure we're getting the dosage right, especially when we consider that dosage requirements are also influenced by our age. So, with the help of every Berberine study to date, user feedback, and my own personal experience using the compound, let's take a look at what you need to know in order to calculate your optimal personalized longevity dosage. And for clarity, this presentation deals with the popular and well-researched version of berberine known as berberine hydrochloride. Now there is another more recent but well less studied version of berberine available known as dihydroberberine. And to be fair, there are pros and cons with both compounds and I'll be doing a comparison in a forthcoming video. So please make sure you subscribe if that's of interest to you. Now for those watching who might be new to the supplement, berberine is a natural compound that's extracted from plants of the berberous species such as barberry and golden seal. It's a vibrant yellow coloured alkaloid that's actually been used in traditional Chinese and Ayurvedic medicine for centuries. So I think we can assume that there must be a very good reason for that. And we wouldn't be wrong because many studies have shown that berberine supplementation can promote a wide range of health benefits, thereby positively influencing how slow you age. Those potential benefits include promoting blood sugar control, cholesterol management, weight management, gut health, and heart health. However, if you want the full story on berberine's many benefits, then please see my previous berberine video from 2023, which you can also find on this channel. Studies have shown that berberine works through various mechanisms. Those include activating an enzyme called AMPK, which plays a key role in energy metabolism. Berberine also plays a role in regulating gut bacteria and positively influencing gene expression related to inflammation and fat storage. Now, I won't go into any more depth on that here, as this video is focused mainly on dosage, which is exactly what we're going to discuss next. Our goal with this video is to identify the likely optimal dosage of berberine required in order to slow the aging process. And that's actually quite a bit easier to do than you might actually initially think. And that's because before we even look at a single study, there's several naturally occurring factors that will likely influence or at least limit your daily dosage. And here's the first of those factors. It's pretty well known that berberine is best taken with food. And there's a good reason for that. And that's because taking it with a meal will minimize any risk of stomach upset, which although rare, is something that may affect a small percentage of users, especially in the first few days of use. The second factor is that berberine has a relatively short half-life of only four to six hours. So taking it with meals fits perfectly into most people's sleep-wake cycle, especially if taken at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This will help to maintain berberine's effects over the entire day. Now for those of us who eat fewer than three meals a day, it's okay to take berberine on an empty stomach, it will still work. Just be aware of the increased risk of stomach discomfort in some users. We can also minimize the risk of such issues by simply limiting each dose to 500 milligrams. Not only have studies confirmed this dosage to be both safe and effective, it also just happens to be the standard capsule dosage offered by the vast majority of berberine brands. This has undoubtedly been heavily influenced by the aforementioned facts. I think we can assume then that there's little point in exceeding 500 milligrams in a single dose. The only reason why you might want to take more is if you're eating say only one meal per day, in which case one gram taken alongside that meal might prove more beneficial. Otherwise, stick with 500 milligrams. Then lastly, there's your age to consider. The older you are, the more likely you'll benefit from a higher dosage, since insulin resistance tends to naturally increase with age. However, let me make it clear that the dosages I'm about to recommend are for healthy adults. If you're currently suffering from a medically diagnosed health condition, then please consult with your doctor before you begin taking berberine. Now here's a simple diagram that shows the likely optimal dosage in relation to your age. If you're under 40 years of age and in good health, then in my opinion, there's likely little need to supplement with berberine. But if you do want to give it a try, then I can see no point in exceeding 500 milligrams per day. Between 40 to 50 years of age is around the time when many of us are becoming noticeably less sensitive to insulin. And that's when two 500 milligram capsules of berberine per day split AM, PM and taken with food should get the job done nicely for most of us. And for those like myself that are over 50, 
Three capsules per day split evenly over the day taken with breakfast, lunch and dinner is a tried and tested protocol likely to yield good results and can be considered a safe and effective long-term dosage. I find little evidence to indicate that exceeding 1500 milligrams daily will provide much in the way of further benefits. So going the data that I currently have access to, I suggest a limit of two grams per day when taken as a long-term dosage. For example, an older adult that eats four meals per day, which is quite often the case with those following a demanding exercise program, especially when involving resistance training, might want to experiment with two grams per day, especially if eating a lot of carbs. Now, in my own case, I work out with weights four to five days a week. I eat three meals per day and I take a 500 milligram capsule immediately before each meal. I've never experienced a single side effect, even when I've previously experimented with extreme dosages all in the name of science, of course, and so that you don't have to. Next, we're going to look at the very best berberine products currently available. There are two berberine products in the market that, in my opinion, are streets ahead of the competition. The products in question are from two of my most trusted brands, and those are Paradise Herbs and Do Not Age. Both products are filler free, vegan friendly capsules containing nothing but pure berberine. And I've also got exclusive discount codes for you for both products, providing extra savings on what are already great prices. I'll begin with the Paradise Herbs Berberine, which is available at the lowest online price from iHerb.com. Now, a pack of 180 500 milligram capsules costs $49.99, which works out at 28 cents per capsule and you can get it even cheaper using my exclusive code on screen now. Now, though I don't myself use Paradise Herbs Berberine, I do use a few of their other products, including Aurac Energy Greens, which is a superfood powder of exceptional quality. Next up, we have the Berberine that I do actually use, and that's the offering from Do Not Age, which as it happens was the winner of my recent Berberine lab test video, where the product went up against 26 other Berberine brands. The filler free veggie caps are available in packs of either 60 or 366 capsules and are priced at $20 and $100 respectively. That works out at 33 cents per capsule for the small pack and 27 cents per capsule for the large pack. And you get 10% off these already amazing prices using my exclusive discount code on screen now. And this code will work for all Do Not Aid products, including subscriptions and special offers. Enjoy. Many thanks for watching and as always, take care, be healthy and I'll see you again soon.